Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to start a video call with Google Plus. And I'm going to switch this setting. To desktop setting, desktop setting, so that way you you guys can see what I'm doing here. The first thing you're going to need is a webcam software, and you'll have to configure it. This is how I use uh, my setup for doing streams, recordings. I use Minicam. You can download it at minicam.com. Once you have it downloaded and and install it, and then once you have it installed, you can start it up. And when you get into the interface, click on the Image tab on the lower left, and you'll see the resolutions. You will want to configure the resolutions to the settings that is best for your PC. For mine, I set it to HD, which is 768. It has three settings. When you click on the arrow, the down arrow, a drop down list will come open. You can click auto, although I wouldn't recommend it unless that's you know that's what you want to use and it works for your PC well then you can use it you can also customize to set your own exact resolution that they have listed uh, I don't really use it because I use the 768p which works good for me and then once you have your resolution configured and your picture mode you can have picture mode in different ways go to your audio add a microphone if that's what you prefer to use you can use the regular uh, the regular mic on your PC if that's what you want to add a microphone you just click on add microphone and click on the one that's that, that you want to use that comes on the drop down list I already have mine configured after you have your microphone selected you will want to adjust your volume to however you desire. I found that my volume level works best when I turn it all the way up for this microphone. After you have your audio set up to record and listen to people, you might, this is an optional step depending on if you ever set up a mic before if you've never set one up then you may have to do so type in sound well the first thing you do is click on your windows icon and when it pops up in the search box type in sound hit enter and then uh, it will have a list of results under control panel you will see sound click on that and your sound window will open up go to your recording tab select the microphone that you would like to use another pop-up window should come up Select whatever jack uh, setting you uh, works for your PC and your setup. Like for me, my properties are already set up. Uh, you can click on properties. Um, so that's just the driver details. So when you have your this part set up so for this 
window, I just have use this device enabled. So you have a choice between don't use and use, so I use it. Go to the listen tab, and this is the settings that I use. Continue running on low battery power, default play playback device, and I do not have listen to this device checked. I have it unchecked. And then hit apply if you, if you need to. But I already have mine set up, so I don't have to hit apply. You may need to do that after you, you know, configure each tab. You know, like for this tab, your general tab. If you have to configure it, then make sure you hit apply before you go to the next tab. Then configure it again. And then hit apply when you get done doing that. Levels tab. Mine is is a little weird. I, I I just opened it up before and it was at 46. And so for my computer, every time that I I shut it down and then I start it back up, some of these settings do not save. So and I use Windows 7. So before you do any recording or video calls. You might want to double check your microphone properties levels to make sure they're at your desired level to where people can hear you and you can hear them, um, you know, for your sound. But for your microphone, yeah, you might want to have it so they can hear you okay. Like make a, a, a sample recording after you set everything up with your microphone and then replay it and see if the volume is at the way at the at the level that you desire uh, more than likely if you can't hear if you can't hear it when you play it back uh, if you have it turned up halfway then it's also going to be likely that the person that's watching your video or that you're talking to may have trouble hearing you so for mine it seems to be working okay at 50 for the microphone and then the second micro microphone boost I have mine turned all the way up plus 30 decibels this is the setting that looks good for my headset my headsets about 20 years old your headset may work better than the one that I have now or maybe worse uh, so you may have to adjust your settings differently to so that someone can hear you. Once you have it set the way it works best for your your computer and your setup, hit apply. Go to enhancements. For me, I have DC offset cancellation checked, and I have noise suppression checked. I do not have echo cancellation and disable all sound effects checked, but I do have immediate mode checked. And then once you get done, you can use this these settings, but if they don't work for your your setup, then you can change it the way that work it works best for you. This is what I use. And then once you have it everything set, click apply, go to your next tab, advanced. I use two channels, 16 bit, 44,100 hertz, CD quality. Allow applications to take exclusive control of this device is checked. Give exclusive mode applications priority is checked. Hit apply. And then you can close this out. And your microphone should be set up uh, appropriately. And my light just went out. But that's okay. I have it on full screen, so give me a minute here to turn on the light. And I'm back. Okay, sorry for the noise, guys. I had to move. Uh, okay. So now we have met, uh, the webcam set up, we have the microphone set up, now you're all set to open up Google.
and I'm going to change it for a minute. While I log in, opening up Google Chrome web browser, you can use whatever browser that you feel comfortable with, I suppose. Uh, I'm not sure if Google works with all web browsers, but I use Google Chrome. And what you'll want to do next is make sure you have a Google account and a Google Plus account. And then log in. I'm going to log in to my Google Mail. I'm going to check my time. So yeah, I still have some Google Mail. For some reason my computer is running slow or not running that well. Not sure why. Maybe it's because it's Memorial Day and uh, everybody's using the internet. Maybe that's why it's running slow. So I'm logged into Google now. It's loading up slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to screen mode. Yeah, my computer usage is at 100%. That's <laughs> not good. So once your web browser opens up and Google loads, Google Mail, go down to the left hand side where your compose button is and then scroll down and with my screen I already have people added in so what you can do is click hover over somebody's name and then move, you can move over to the right and then down and then click on the little button icon that says start a video call or you may, may be able to just click on the other icon that's right below their name without using the mouse over so I'm going to try that so So what it did is, when I clicked on the the icon underneath her name, it opened up a small window. I think I can make it bigger. Did it? So this is when it's, you can open it all the way up. So I should be using this. So let me go back. So once you're in the in your Google browser, Google Mail, you go down, and like for me, I already have a list of people, and you can click on that, and it'll open up a uh, a window interface. You can do it that way, and then this is what it looks like when you open it up. And then on the upper left hand side, you go underneath her, game, her name again, and there's an icon that looks like a camera. And then you click on that, and it, and it says, when you hover over it, it says video call, and you click on that, and it will start a video call or what Google calls a video call so 
you are you are in this video call and and this is what it looks like so it up. so right now it's calling DeAndre and and the the video call is calling her if she answers then you'll see her and you'll have your video call